my name is Eric and today I want to show you something truly amazing and that is my ultimate combat framework and with this example that I'm going to show you right here I want to show you what the capabilities are after that we'll we dive into the actual demo map and go over all the features one by one so let's check it out so we have this character right here and we can open our inventory by pressing I and we can make sure to be prepared for some battle so let's prepare some shotgun do some buckshot in, uh, in the slots and also let's grab a spear a sword and a shield so let's find an enemy so we can engage with him ah yes i see an enemy <coughs> that would not end in my face as you can see he has a blade he's running around i will press three on my hold bar so i'm equipping the spear and i think i am going to throw it at it it was not sufficient quickly grab a spear and a shield and let's try to block his attacks yes that was nice so what we can see uh, he's attacking us i'm blocking it i'm able to dodge around this character and of course we are able to uh, lock on this target like so and as you can see it will use a uh, strafe movement to uh, lock it of course in this demo we do not want to get killed and i did give myself a bit of extra health let's now try engage with another enemy and let's do that with our shotgun yes so i'm going to quickly and equip this like so i'm going to equip the shotgun i want to try and reload so it's reloading and let's kill this character and so let's also try and engage with an enemy with our bow and arrow so i'm going to equip it and as you can see i think one is right there oh missed yes that was a hit And of course, we're able to pick up our arrows again like this. Let's also try and engage with our enemies with some troll balls, for instance. This smoke bomb. I'm going to throw this grenade like so. And now we are able to attack characters with this awesome stuff. Oh, two left. Let's. Yeah. Okay. We got it i think this gives a good example of uh, a quick of a few of the capabilities of a combat system like this so what i want to do right now is i want to dive in the actual project that you can get on the marketplace and go over the features one by one and um, let's dive into it and i will see you right there so we are now in the example map of the combat system and this is what you will get when you uh, are getting the system from the marketplace this map is going to try and show you all the features of the system one by one and i'll try to explain a bit how it all works so first of all let's check out this settings room and the settings room is talking about dependencies for instance this character uh, is using an enhanced input system uh, that's using it for uh, the controls like touching but also opening this example inventory that is included but please know this is not a full inventory system. For instance, if you press on crafting, uh, it doesn't uh, do anything. So let's go into the ranged firearms room. And the first thing that we will see is um, are the rifles. Uh, here we can pick up the basic rifle and also we can pick up the ammo. The ammo will be automatically added to the slot. We can double click on the rifle and now it's added to our uh, slot. So you can see on the lower right corner, it has zero of the 26 ammo. And this one was 26 in total. Um, now we do have picked up another stack of 26 ammo, but it's not in the same slot. Um, there's currently nothing in the actual weapon. So if you hover over the weapon itself, we will see it has no ammo in it. So what to do, we can press R or left click our mouse. And now it has been reloaded. We can right, hold right mouse button to zoom. 
and shoot on this target. Now the ammo is empty. So what can we do? In this case, select new slots. And fire again. Of course, we also have uh, pistols. And the pistol is like this. There's a reload animation. We can zoom, we can crouch, and we can shoot with that pistol like this. We also have a shotgun. And what a shotgun does is it fires multiple traces at the same time. Let's equip uh, the shotgun. Now it's equipped. We have 12 ammo in the slot. I can press the left mouse button for automatic reload. And shoot. So what we will see, it has, uh, I think this one has 8 shots. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And it spreads uh, uh, randomly and also based on the distance. So now we are more close and it will spread uh, uh, less. I've also included a sniper rifle. So let's equip that one. I got the ammo. And of course we need to have a reload like so. And we are able to shoot the target like this. Another thing that I would like to show you is, um, of course, this looks like it is a third person shooter right now. And that was indeed my main focus. But if I am pressing the V, it's going to switch into the first person mode. Um, I did not focus on it, so I don't have any procedural alignment in place for like scoping or whatnot. But for basic purposes, um, it is looking quite well. So if you look down, you can see it's running. Um, I'm able to click on for the reload and you see the animation. We can shoot like this. We can zoom in. And of course, we can also try and do that with a pistol. So let's do it. Like so. It was equipping the other weapon. And it looks actually quite well. So please know that these basics are included. I did not focus on it. However, for basic first person capabilities, this might be sufficient for your game. I hope you liked it. Let's go to the next room. And the next room is all about ammo management. And this rifle has several fire modes. So I'm going to equip the rifle. I'm going to equip rifle ammunition like this. I have 60 bullets. And you can see it has three different fire modes. Automatic, single and burst. Uh, so in this case, when I'm holding my left mouse button uh, like this, it is bursting. Uh, sorry, uh, automatic. I'm going to press T and now I can hold it and it doesn't do anything. It is a single shot like so. And I can press T again to switch the, the fire mode. And now it will do a burst fire. And the burst fire is in this case three shots. Another thing about the ammo management that is you can have multiple types of ammo in the same weapon. So uh, let's pick up this pistol. And I have two types of ammo here. And I think this one is just a basic uh, nine millimeter ammo. And the other one is the piercing bullets. And the piercing bullets are able to swap with them 90 millimeter ammo like this. And both of these ammo types are accepted in this weapon. So let's check out our bow and arrow. Um, so what we will do, we will pick up this bow. We will pick up the arrows. Um, when equipping the bow, while having ammo in the slot, this quiver will spawn automatically. So if we're going to unequip the ammo, you will see it's gone. On a quick, it will spawn again. So what can we do? We hold the right mouse button. It will reload. We are drawing and firing onto this target like so. It has a, a small prediction uh, path a projectile. 
just to help you aim and of course this is just a text uh, checkbox which you can turn on and off again like so and what we can do is we are able to pick up our arrows and of course uh, it's also obvious that arrows are able to stick in something and it's sticking by enabling attack like a projectile can stick on a certain object so if i'm going to fire the arrow on uh, for instance that board it will not stick let's go into the troll balls and projectiles room um, the first thing that you will notice is it has a lot of settings and you can tweak everything uh, quite easily if you want you can enable uh, also projectile uh, trajectory prediction on it um, currently i have not enabled it um, let's focus on the three troll balls that i've included and this one is a grenade so I can hold it like this and throw it. This grenade, if you're going to hold it and throw it, it, ex it is exploding upon impact. So uh, this smoke bomb, for instance, we can just throw it and it will roll over the ground. And it has a fixed time to spawn the, uh, the, uh, the, the, and the projector, the explosion. So this one is also holding it for 5 seconds, so if I'm throwing it in the air, it will explode in the air. I've also included this flashbang, and it's a very simple one, uh, it just spots an effect. However, I didn't uh, uh, implement any post-process effects like stun or whatever, that is something uh, that you could do your own, uh, however you see fit. So let's go into the spear and throwing knives. So these are uh, special weapons because first of all when we press our left mouse button we have melee attacks but i'm also able to hold my right mouse button uh, to able to uh, get in the throwing stance and of course uh, you can also use a projectile prediction path from this i've not enabled it um, and you can switch easily and of course we can try and throw it in that board and we did and it is sticking, as we can see, it also spawned an impact effect and we're able to pick it up again. And the throwing knife we can hold and also try and throw it on the board. Yeah, and it is in the board and now I've picked it up again. So I'm able to just equip it again and throw it wherever I want. Let's go into the melee basics. Um, it this system includes a lot of predefined melee types and what i've defined is one-handed weapons two-handed weapons uh, but also fists currently you see the character is standing in an idle position but if i'm going to press my left mouse button right now it will throw a punch and you will see it's in, it's in a combat stance for uh, for like one to two seconds and after that it will return again to the idle position like so I am able to switch between heavy and light attacks. So in this case, left mouse button is a light one. Right one is a heavy one. And there is also a combo system included. So if I'm going to keep pressing my left mouse button, like so. This system also includes blocking. Um, and blocking is being done by holding the middle mouse button. So in this case, also for uh, the fists, I'm able to do it like this. And when you're blocking, it will switch into strafe movement, like so. Let's check out all the melee examples that are included in the system. So the first thing we see is we have just our basic sword. So it is switching an animation layer based upon this and I'm able to attack in my combos, do my heavy attacks like so. And switch between my light and heavy attacks on the fly. Let's also pick up this awesome blade. It is a very large one. And these animations are way slower. But I really like uh, uh, these animations. And of course this has a longer range. And it has a cool um, melee whoosh effect. And also the animation trail. Let's check out the Hatchet Duel. And this, of course, is only for the very cool bosses. And 
think of like a big troll or whatever uh, uh, using these these dual hatchets to uh, attack. And now onto one of my favorites, and that is the staff. I really like the staff because it's so quick, like pop, pop, pop. Um, and I really like uh, these root motion animations that are jumping like so. And please note that we are able to turn while uh, playing an animation. I also have this light sword included. Um, and this has some cool and quick animations. Let's check out the uh, 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 sword light duel. And this is, uh, I always imagine this one more for like a ninja or something cool because specifically this heavy attack is really cool. But also you need to be really flexible to do uh, these jumps, of course. Let's check the normal sword uh, uh, while uh, being dual wielded. And this one is also. Looking quite cool. I also have a heavy dual sword. So this one is really intended for uh, larger characters. Uh, And let's also check out the uh, sword with a shield. So what I uh, have included is um, some weapons are able to uh, be uh, dual wielded with a shield on the offense. However, not all. You can set that up very easy in the data table. So in this case, uh, uh, we see the animation. He's holding the sword in front of him, uh, the shield. And we can hold our middle mouse button. So he keeps it like so. A cool bonus. Uh, I've also included the torch. Um, I was already uh, um, working on it. So I thought you would probably appreciate having a torch in your game. As you can see in the light, it is uh, flickering. Uh, uh, the light, it's, it's, it's glowing a bit. Um, it's using a 2D uh, uh, Niagara effect, and I think it looks overall pretty cool. Let's check out some advanced features. The first thing is uh, locking. So I've set up two characters right here, and I'm able to lock on the character with pressing F. And as you can see, the first thing what will happen is an outliner is being spawned and the character is now in strafe movement so upon locking you can see it's the, the the character is automatically walking in a circle around this one if i oh that guy is doing some really cool jumps if i come close to this character he will attack me i think oh yes he did he did he did so let's the, the AI is, by the way, really dumb. So he doesn't know that I am standing behind him. He's only looking forward and he's also not hearing the noise. So I'm able to just attack him. This system is, of course, fully replicated. So what you're able to do is you're going to play with multiple clients. Uh, that's going to work perfectly fine. Another very cool feature that is the additive hit effects and i think that is very important for the immersion of it so let's uh, grab some ammo like this i have uh, some ammo in this weapon right now i have two characters right here and if i'm going to shoot him from this side as you can see he is falling to that one side and if i'm going to attack him from the front he will go to the back Attack him from the other side, like so. And let's also attack him from the back. Oh, he was trying to attack me, like that one. Perfect. And at the moment, you are <laughs> receiving an additive hit reaction 
uh, you are not able to attack. So that will mean that you need to time your attacks between uh, 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 in combat. So now onto the last room, and that is just an example uh, uh, to prepare for battle. I have this teleport option right here, and it will load in a new map. So it will just take a second. Uh, it, it is not lag. And I've set up all kinds of weapons here. Uh, so you can choose uh, your uh, favorite weapon. And mine is actually, the I, I really like the staff, but I also do like the shotgun. So in this case, let's grab this basic shotgun. I'm going to have some ammo. Perfect. And I'm also going to equip this staff like so. So we can uh, try both of them out. Here we have all kind of AIs uh, running around. The AI is really dumb. This is just here as an example. Um, they're not able to hear you. Uh, they're not looking back. And so if you're able, if you stand behind them, they don't, they do not know that you are there. They only look forward. So for instance, this character right here, you can stand behind him. You can also see his enemy uh, title but also his health bar. And I think it's perfect if I'm, <laughs> he's downing him like, <laughs> uh, nice. If, I, if I'm going to attack him right now, um, you will see this glow in the, uh, in the enemy bar. Okay, so we have a lot of enemies here. Let's also equip the shotgun and let's try to uh, attack a couple of them. He is seeing me, and that one did not see me, but now he does. Maybe to show you something really cool, there is a secret in this project, and it is when you press J, it will spawn a jetpack on your back, and we are able to fly. That's more for, uh, for testing purposes, but I actually included a full uh, advanced uh, locomotion system for the jetpack let's attack them bam oh no 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 yes perfect um i would like to attack that character with my staff oh he's coming i'm going to try and block him perfect I'm going to dodge right on time and attack him from the back. Oh, like, oh, perfect. Now, let's take out this last character. Oh, there's another one just behind it. Oh, there's... Oh, no. I thought it was the last one. Uh, what am I going to do? I think I'm going to dodge. And I'm going to do my heavy attack like so. Oh, yes, I hit them both. That's nice. Boom. Double kill. So I think that this gives a good overview of what the capabilities of the system are. I hope you liked it. Um, of course, there is much more included than what you just saw. It is very extensive. I've worked very long of, uh, on it and I don't think I'm capable of showing you all the capabilities of the system in a, a short and concise video. I think that this guy taunting us is saying that we need to say goodbye. Of course, if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out and I hope you have a very nice day. Bye. Congrats, you have reached the end of this video. And of course, I hope you liked it. So please let me know what you think about it in the comments below. Uh, feel free to reach out anytime, for instance, via Discord or Patreon. And don't forget to check out one of the videos that I will be posting somewhere here. And of course, I hope you have a very nice day. Bye.